debut favourite song from the debut album of one of your favourite artists? My favourite song from the debut album of one of my favourite artists? Mm -hmm. Yellow by Coldplay. But they're not one of my favourite artists, but I do like that song. It's the only debut album I can think of. Waking up and getting up has never been easy. Elastica. Why? Joe was asking. What's yours? I'm not sure. Could be um, Jeremy by Pearl Jam from 10. I'm going to think about that all day now. <laughs> Have a lovely day at school. mushrooms are epic. I love them. It's like a little mushroom village on top of a tree trunk, tree stump. I've got a cracking headache. I went to bed with a headache. I woke up with a headache and I haven't been able to shake it. I've had fruit, I've had water, I've had healthy food, I've had breaks from my screen, I've had paracetamol, still got the headache next next remedy is a diet coke and some ibuprofen anyway it's friday and i'm out for my lunchtime walk it's not as sunny as it was the other day but there are two magpies over there that you probably can't see i have to say happy birthday mandy pomeroy is 44 today happy birthday mandy and indeed, happy birthday if it's your birthday today. I also need to let you know that there has been a scammer. I put a little note on my, uh, like a little post up earlier. I noticed it when I was going through the comments yesterday. So someone has taken my profile picture, cheeky beggar, and then created an account called text me at telegram or something with uh, this little wonderful life after that. So it looks like it's me telling you that you've won something. It's not me. I would never ask you to text me or indeed telegram me. I don't even know what that is. It's a fake. Anyway, I've reported the account and I've blocked the account as well. So that user should no longer be able to comment or reply to comments or do anything on my channel. Honestly, people will do anything, won't they? I don't know what the purpose is, of it is, but it's very annoying. Naughty, naughty. I don't know what that was, me telling off someone who can no longer watch because I've blocked them. But just to be warned, oh, there's a dog walker coming. I'm gonna have to stop talking to you and I'll catch up with you later.
have fun at Brownie Camp Woodland. What are you? Oh, an elf. I'm a mushroom elf. A mushroom elf. <laughs> dip, yeah. your head, dip your head down so I can see the mushroom. <laughs> have fun. I will. See can you I have, can I... Oh, there's those little fruit flies again. Where were they coming from? Yeah, I'm going to have to stay close, I'm afraid, otherwise it doesn't like to focus on me in the low light. Um, does anyone else have fruit flies in their house? We've never had them before, but this year, like the last couple of weeks, we've had loads, haven't we? Okay. And we like, I haven't even got fresh fruit out, like bananas and stuff, because I was worried it was that. The only plant we've got is like a cactus, which we've had for years and we've never had them before. And the... Um, this countertop little compost thing has got a, a, lid a lid and a filter on it, so it's not like they can get in there. They're really annoying. Any tips for dealing with that? We're just, it's Friday night, and Friday night means... Pizza and a movie! Pizza and a movie, but we don't have Lilia, so Lilia spent all day yesterday having a really good rest. And she really, she was very good at it, I thought. She was on the sofa watching films all day. And that's Dan now blowing Sorry. his nose. Onions. Oh, he's been slicing up onions. And uh, she felt a lot better today. And she has gone off as planned to... Uh, Brownie camp. Brownie camp. So I'm trying to talk and cut pepper at the same time. Maybe I should just stop for a minute. <laughs> Maybe I should just try to do one thing at a time. So she's gone off to brownie camp. She is a young leader. So she is helping with her uh, brownies and rainbows uh, tonight. And she'll be there tonight and tomorrow night. And Phoebe is on a sleepover tomorrow. So we've actually got tomorrow night without children, which we only realized last night, didn't we? So we booked to go for it so we thought we should make the most of it rather than sitting at home going well, we haven't got any children here we we've thought we'd like to go out but obviously dan's still not very well needs to be close to home really but we do want to try but we've got a pub a gastro pub at the end of the road it's so about a 45 second walk it is about a 45 second walk so we're going to go there uh, which means we're right next door to home if we need to get home in a hurry so that's what we're going to do tomorrow night we're going to go for uh, a meal at the pub which will be we haven't we never go there because we don't particularly like it but we'll see what it's like and i did have a bit of a moment where i thought i did a covid tip because i've had a headache for 48 hours i can't get rid of it and i feel really quite tired so i did a covid test this morning which came out negative and then I just became convinced over the course of the day that that could be the only explanation. <laughs> Not that I've been editing 24-7 for, for Vlogtober and I might have eye strain. So I got home and I did another Covid test and I thought, well, this is typical, isn't it? I've got Covid. We won't be able to go out for a meal. The only time we've ever had a Saturday night without children. I don't have Covid. It was completely negative. I was like looking at it, I was shining a torch on it. I was like so convinced. But uh, no. So that's good. That's good news. Very good news. And in other news, famous Scottish person died. Robbie Coltrane died today. Or it was announced that he died today. So that's sad, isn't it? Yeah. Hagrid, you'll be most known for, but he was in loads of other films, wasn't he? I know, I, yeah, I remember him like from, from other stuff. He was in that TV programme, Cracker. Yeah, Cracker. Um, oh, do you remember Cracker? Yeah, Nuns on the Run, Cracker. The Pope Must Die. You know, loads and loads of... Everything he was in, he was just brilliant. I don't think I've seen those films. And I'm not a huge fan of Harry Potter, but obviously I know I know who he is. Sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, Cracker. Who remembers Cracker? Oh. Cracker. Loved Robbie Coltrane. He wasn't that old, was he? 72. That's not old. He must have been ill. Anyway, I'm going to crack on with making my pizza. I am going to have on my pizza my toppings of choice, which is chopped bit of bit of light mozzarella and tomato puree or tomato sauce, um, some chopped red pepper, some kale, 
a little bit of feta, some blobs of caramelised onion chutney, and I feel like I'm missing something. I think that's it. I think that's it. Courgette. No, I, I've swapped courgette for kale recently. Oh. Got a bit leery. 